In this video, we'll be looking at configuring control panel options and desktop settings. The overall question addressed is how can the Windows 7 experience be customized? In this lesson, you will learn to configure control panel options, access applications within administrative tools, define accessibility options, configure desktop settings, and add gadgets to the desktop. Here are some questions to consider while watching the video. What feature in Windows 7 allows users to put information such as news or pictures on their desktop? What can be created on the desktop that a user can double click to launch an application file or web page immediately? And what is included when applying a theme to personalize your Windows 7 experience? The control panel allows users to configure operating system features and perform related tasks such as hardware and software setup and configuration, security, system maintenance, and user account management. Many users do not perform control panel tasks frequently, so they may not remember how to begin, perform, or complete these tasks. The control panel contains many items, so some users have difficulty knowing which tasks to perform with which tools. There are two ways to find control panel items. You can use search up in the top right hand corner. You can see the search control panel to find settings you're interested in or a task you want to perform. Type a word or phrase in the search box. You can browse. You can explore control panel by clicking different categories. For example, system and security, programs or ease of access, and viewing common tasks listed under each category. Alternatively, under View By, click either large icons or small icons to view a list of all control panel items. Here's a tip for you. If you browse control panel by icons, you can find an item in the list quickly by typing the first letter of the item's name. For example, to find keyboard, type K and the first control panel item beginning with the letter K, in this case keyboard, is selected in the list. You can also use the arrow keys, up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, and right arrow to scroll through the list of icons in control panel. Administrative tools contain several important applications. Most of these applications can be found in the computer management console. You can get there by clicking on the start button and selecting control panel type administrative tools in the search box and double click computer management. The computer management console also can be accessed by typing computer management in the search box. Computer management includes the following administrative snap-ins. Event viewer, which is a central event logging console for troubleshooting. It has logs for the system, security, application errors, and warnings. We also have the local users and groups, which is a console used for creating local users as well as modifying group membership, which can determine the privileges they will have during their session. The device manager is a console for managing locally attached and internal devices. Device manager can be used to update drivers or troubleshoot hardware problems. Services and applications is a console for managing system and application services. These services essentially run or are the operating system. Other applications within administrative tools include system configuration, which is a tool that can help identify problems that might prevent Microsoft Windows from starting correctly. The task scheduler allows you to automate tasks that perform actions at a specific time or when a certain event occurs. The performance monitor lets you examine how programs you run affect your computer's performance both in real time and by collecting log data for later analysis. And the local security policy allows you to customize the security of your desktop. Accessibility options are the features of Windows 7 that assist with accessibility options and found in the Ease of Access Center within the control panel. The ease of access allows the system to be customized for optimizing for blindness, which configures the operating system with a narrator function to help users who cannot see the screen. The optimizing for visual display uses the magnifier to configure the computer so that it is easier to see. 
The ease of access center within the control panel can be accessed by clicking the start button, selecting control panel, ease of access, and then ease of access center. Here we can see some of the options available to us for making accessibility options. The Windows desktop can be defined as an on-screen work area that uses icons and menus to simulate the top of a desk. Items that can be customized include themes, which is a visual display setting that can modify the background, a screensaver, window border, color, sounds, and sometimes icons and pointers. Screen resolution refers to the clarity of the text and images on your screen. At higher resolutions, items appear sharper. They also appear smaller, so more items fit on the screen. At lower resolutions, fewer items fit on the screen, but they are larger and easier to see. Both can be customized through the control panel under Appearance and Personalization. You can change the theme by selecting Personalization option here, and you can change screen resolutions by selecting the Display option. A tip for you is that if you right-click on the desktop, you can select the appropriate option from the action menu there to affect the personalization. The Aero Desktop Experience features a translucent glass design with subtle Windows animations and new Windows colors. The Aero feature displayed on the slide, Aero Flip 3D, is accomplished by holding down the Windows logo key on the keyboard and pressing the tab to cycle through the views of the open applications. Additional Aero features include Aero Peak, which allows you to preview thumbnails on your taskbar by moving the mouse over the thumbnail. You can also preview the desktop by moving the mouse to the Show Desktop icon. Arrow Shake allows you to minimize all open windows and applications on the desktop other than the desired application. You can do this by moving the mouse with the banner location of the application, clicking the banner, and shaking back and forth. A gadget is a single purpose application that puts information like news, pictures, or games on the Windows 7 desktop. You can add gadgets to the desktop by going to the control panel, appearance and personalization, desktop gadgets, and then double click weather, for example. You can position the mouse over the weather gadget until the wrench icon appears and then click it to open the options. And you can put in your zip code to, put in, to get your current locations weather. You can also download other gadgets online. Here are some questions I'd like you to consider. What console can be used to access several administrative tools? What tool can be used to make the display easier to see or read? And which theme requires more resources, arrow or basic and high contrast themes? Please discuss these with your group and post your discussion summaries to the Dropbox.